when I bought this house on the home inspection report, it was noted that none of the breakers inside of the electrical breaker box were labeled. Today, I'm gonna to label the breaker box. To help me do that, I'm here alone. I've got this Klein circuit breaker tracer. This is the ET310. I've got my receiver and I've got my transmitter that plugs into receptacles. I've also got some wires that I'm not sure where, where they go to that are for smoke alarms. And I'm gonna use this attachment along with the receiver to find those wires. Let's jump right in. When plugging this transmitter into the receptacle, I wanna make sure the last two lights are illuminated, which indicates that it is correct wiring for this transmitter to work properly. This will stay in the receptacle while I go to the breaker panel and use the receiver to find out which breaker is feeding the transmitter. I'm gonna turn the receiver on by pressing this gray button. And what I'm gonna do is First, I'm gonna do a sweep going down and then up. That's gonna be our learning sweep. Second one, I'm gonna do the same thing. That's gonna be our locate. On the second time, we should be able to locate the breaker. If not, hit the reset button and try again. So here's our learn sweep. Holding the receiver horizontal. And right now we are just learning the panel. Now we are going on the locate journey. See how it turned red right there? And then it's solid. That's when you know we got our breaker. So I'm gonna turn this off and then go check the transmitter and make sure that the lights went off on it. So all of the lights, are off on our transmitter. We've got an open hot, which means the breaker is off. Now I'm gonna walk around the living room and check all the outlets that I think may be on this circuit and maybe the outlets next to the circuit just to make sure I've got everything labeled correctly. Got an open hot here too, as well as right here. Now I've already walked around the living room and got all my receptacles marked. So now let's go ahead and print a label for the electrical panel. On my way back in, I noticed the garage lights were off when they were on and I did check it. So those living room receptacles are in the same outlet as the garage lights. I don't think it's supposed to be like that, but that's what I'm working with. Now I'm gonna go through the home and check all the receptacles and narrow down all of these breakers. Keep in mind, it will not work for electric dryer 240 volt, any 240 volt breaker, 277 volt for commercial buildings. This thing's not gonna work, don't do it. It'll fry it up. So let me get all these marked and then I'll show you the extension. So I've got everything labeled now except number eight, which I got a find and number 20, which I also got to narrow down to mystery breakers that I couldn't find with the receptacle tester. Now I'm gonna use this extension right here for the wires as I've got two spots where a smoke detector CO alarm can be hardwired in. Neither one of them are hardwired in in this home. They are all battery operated, but let's go check those out and see if we can find out which breaker controls those. This is a spot where you can hardwire a smoke CO alarm. And also keep in mind, I am now working with live voltage. I do not recommend any homeowner doing this as you can get electrocuted I want to make sure that I do have 120 volts here before I hook up this tester. Okay, now I'm going to insert the transmitter into this breaker finder. Polarity doesn't really matter for this application. And look at that, we have an open ground. I'll definitely deal with that issue later, but let's see if this transmitter 
still works with an open ground. Let's go out to the electrical panel. Turn on the receiver. We're gonna do learn. Now we're on locate. None of the empty breakers made it trigger. Oh, look at. Number 13, basement bedroom receptacles, ba basement bathroom lights. Let's go see if it turns the power off to the transmitter. So the light on our transmitter did go off, just to make sure there's no funny business going on. We are completely dead. I'm gonna button this back up, deal with that open ground on, a, on another day. These wires aren't in use right now anyway, and I'm gonna show you one more, one more tool that came with the extension kit, the, the lamp, the lamp finder thingy. So the last part of the extension kit is something that I might not even ever use, but I have it if I need it. You plug this in like that, plug in your transmitter, Screw it into a light bulb socket. And then this should tell you. And then I'll go outside with my receiver and trace the breaker. And just in case you were wondering, there is a receptacle insert on the back of the receiver. That is for this to go into, I believe. So you can keep it as one and don't lose it since this is what I personally will be using most of the time. This kit is sold separately. I bought it for $20. If you wanna get yourself one of these, you can save a lot of time tracing down circuit breakers. I know it's easy to plug something in and go back and forth, but when you're doing a lot of circuit breakers or you're in a big home or big building, it can be tedious. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dave, see you on the next one.